Hi, this is uh, one for entrepreneurs. Um, I am a chiropractor. I had my own practice for about 10 years. It was about year six, and I wish it was a Saturday afternoon. I worked Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then Saturday morning. I would work early. And I don't know, when I was a teenager, I got a job. My first job was working Saturdays, and I liked working Saturdays somehow, so I would do that. And it gave a different class of people the, the ability to come in, people who couldn't come in during the week, come in on Saturdays. And Saturdays, I would just work straight through five hours, work my butt off. And it paid the rent. So Saturdays were a real lucrative day for me. You know, people would travel for hundreds of miles sometimes to come see me as a practitioner. Uh, but it was uh, Saturday, and I there were two new patients in the office, and uh, I walked out the front door. It was across the parking lot. I had the key to my car. I, I had it in the uh, door. I was opening the door. We didn't have the manual doors in the uh, electronic thing. Um, they existed, but I had an old car, so I didn't have one. But uh, all of a sudden, my office manager came running out, and she said, what are you doing? I said, I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I don't know if I'm quitting or being fired or firing me, or um, I'm not sure what's going on, but I don't. She said, what's going on there? So I said, I don't know. I don't. Everybody in that place in there, they're all complaining. They're, everybody is complaining about something. And I don't want to do it anymore. They're, I'm so tired of people just pissing and moaning. And she put her arm around me and she said, come on, you're a doctor. This is what people do around you. And she led me back to work and I finished the day up. And there was just this profound, not a dissatisfaction, just this profound realization that, holy shit, I, I, I built this life and I like what I do and I was good at it. And I still am good at kinesiology. But I thought, this part I don't like. And it took me a few years, about three or four years later, when I met Martin Sage, who taught me this that I now teach, this learning method. And he said, look, this is your office. And people told me that before. He said, but you can run it on any rules that you want to. And he said, and you can tell people not to complain. And so what I did was I put a sign up in my office. It said, rule number one, Dr. McKenzie has fun. And if people would start complaining, I would just point to the sign. See that? They'd say, this is not fun for you. I said, no. No, you can do this with anybody else you want to do. You can find people to complain to. That's, that's a possibility. But what I want to look at here is how much fun can we have and how can, quickly can we get you what you want out of this, which I think is to be better, to be feeling healthier. And it changed how I practiced. It made practice a bunch more fun. I asked several patients to leave. And before I thought, oh, you can't do that. One for money, two for show, but three because, you know, I thought I had to deal with everybody. But you don't. It's your life. Uh, run the way you want to run. Run the rules that you want to run. And if one of the rules is you have fun, tell people and enforce it. It's a great way to run your business. www.micpeakperformance.com